My name is Lisa Stevenson and I'm a speaker, facilitator, MC, high performance coach and lots of other things. So be prepared to be challenged, inspired and accountable for what you want. Please welcome Lisa. Who am I is the most important question you can ask yourself. Being a coach and speaker for the past 20 years has given me this unique insight into understanding why people behave the way they do, what motivates different types of behaviours, and what's required for people to being the best possible versions of themselves. If you ask yourself the question, who am I? And what matters to me? And if I'm my most important project, are you happy with the story that you hear back? What could be different for you if you stepped out of those habits and asked yourself some questions that you don't know the answers to? So part of understanding who I am is about stepping out of the everyday and the habits and taking time to say, what are the thoughts and beliefs I have that no longer serve me? And what are the new ones I need to start integrating into my everyday? I speak on a whole range of topics, everything from understanding behaviour to emotionally intelligent living and understanding what really drives success for individuals. If I sat down and I wrote a project on me, what would be on the page? I do share my story and it's got everything in it. There's some drama and some divorce and there's motherhood and career and there's also the reality of where I've got to now. She shares lots of things about herself. She's got a real story and how did she go from there to here? I'm single at the moment and um, <laughs> I've, I've been conducting a few interviews. So creating an environment of safety in a conversation or in a, in a group, and then at the right point asking a challenging question. What happens when I say, I actually don't need to know, I don't have to be right here, and I certainly don't need to look good. I could be wrong. But being able to captivate an audience and connect to that audience in a unique um, and humanistic way, that is the strength of Lisa. when you're in a room, even if there's 200 people there, that Lisa's actually talking to you. People walk away feeling like they can be the best version of themselves because of what they've heard. Don't expect perfection. And in fact, what we will value is people being vulnerable because that is not the same as being weak. She's very engaging, very connected with the room, will bring people in, has the capacity to challenge people, but to keep it light and to move between those extremes. Imagine having me as your mother, my poor 15 year old, who's just having his first girlfriend. I'm like, just talk to her about, honey, about the vulnerability of life and that, you know. Um. Really manages the crowd well, intuitively understands where the mood of the room is. But the average person leaves 60% of their potential at the door when they go to work. When did we last ask a question we've never thought of? We all have a story and by sharing mine, I believe it gives people a forum to have some real conversations about what's it's going on for them. Me. From her, I, I've taken away that you, you need to take out all that rubbish that fills up your day and actually just focus on the project which is the most important, which is me. I thought Lisa was wonderful, she's very funny and to the point and it made me think about my selling brand. What she talked about is real, real life stuff that you can actually implement if you put the effort in. What I love about Lisa is that she uses her sense of humour in a way to make such an important message so relatable. And a, a very interesting person to listen to, very accomplished speaker and very engaging. Even though our story isn't the same, there's still areas of challenge and overcoming. Looking at yourself from a point of view of um, who am I? and who do I want to be, and how am I going to get there?